Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're back with a quick update on the Retro USB AVS system. And if you are a Nintendo fan and did not watch my review of this a couple of days ago, hit the pause button and go load that original review up to see exactly what this thing is, because it's a really nice uh, Nintendo clone system, probably the best I have ever used. Uh, works exceptionally well with HD televisions, gives you a very crisp and clear image. I would actually, and actually a lot of people have mentioned this in the comment stream, this is really the NES 2.0, and it's also very affordable too, about 185 bucks, and I think for enthusiasts that's not a very big price to pay. Works with all your original Nintendo games as you saw in the original review, you pop these in and power it up. Now what we're going to look at today is something that wasn't yet working in my original review but now is, and that is their scoreboard system. So you can take these old games, upload your scores to NintendoAge.com and see how good you really are on the games you've been playing probably your entire life. For me, these games I've been playing for almost 30 years now. It just gives you an idea as to uh, how much longevity this stuff has. And the way this works is that uh, you plug the console into a computer. So this is a USB powered device. It's very uh, low, very low power requirements and normally you can just plug it into a USB power supply and just use it that way uh, but if you plug it into a computer not only do you get power for the console but you can pass data back and forth and I have their scorecard software running now uh, on my Dell laptop here and you can see right now the console details is red because the console is off uh, what I'm going to do right now though is power it up so I'm going to hit the power button on the console and you will see now that our ABS is on and uh, that uh, little icon there went to green and what I'm going to do is start a quick game of Super Mario Brothers 3 here and you can see now a timer is running so I'm just going to play very quickly here get a couple of points on the board and then I'm going to submit my score through the console to Nintendo Age. Now in order to participate in this uh, scorecard system you need to have an account on NintendoAge.com it is free of charge uh, and you also have to have the computer connected and running the entire time. And the reason is, is that they don't want you cheating uh, and trying to get around uh, the scoring system here. So we'll pull out, pull out on a couple points here. I think we're up to about 2,800 points. I'm going to back out of the game now and go over to the scoreboard here. And I'm going to uh, submit my score. And what's going to happen here is it's going to communicate with the computer, as you can see and it's going to figure out exactly how well I did. It also verifies that the game I'm running is a legitimate copy. So they have a database of what all these games should look like, bite for bite, and, or bit for bit even, and make sure that my game matches exactly the footprint that they have in their database to make sure it's not a hacked copy. And now I pass muster, and you can see now that uh, I, have, I have tied retro USB support for uh, the, uh, the score of 2,800 in Super Mario Brothers 3. What I want to do now, though, is go over to the website and show you what it looks like on the web-facing side because there's a lot of detail and data that you can draw out uh, from these games, and they keep a really cool database of all the top scores for any Nintendo game ever made. Pretty cool stuff. Let's check it out. All right, I switched over to my Mac here just so we can get a better view of the screen. That software, by the way, runs on the Mac as well as on Windows, so it'll work on both platforms. Now, this is the Nintendo Age scoreboard, and uh, what you got here are the user ranking here on the left and you can see that right now I got to get a little avatar for this thing uh, I am in the top 10 primarily because there's maybe only 10 of us that are actually using this at the moment uh, this is still very early days for this product it hasn't been fully released yet uh, so I will not I will not be on this list for very long but uh, what they're doing here in this in this total ranking is uh, they're looking at your holistic ability on these Nintendo games so if you're very good at one game but not so good at other games it's going to knock your ranking down so if you're very good at a lot of games uh, your ranking will improve and I guess they're looking for the master here so uh, if you are not so great on some of your favorite games you might want to practice a little bit the good news is that your score submissions are optional so you don't have to submit a score if it's bad so you get your best score you can and then you submit it uh, so you don't have to worry about your average getting killed when you keep uploading low scores I'm probably off to a bad start already with those two uh, uh, scores I had on Super Mario Brothers that are well below 5,000 points now on the other side here are uh, some recent high scores that came in from uh, other players who are on the network. You can go and browse individual games so you can search for them up here. You can also limit that search by uh, which region. So they support uh, the NES, which is what we had here in North America and Europe, and you can also uh, load up your Famicom games that were in Japan too. So they segment out uh, by those two regions there. And we can go in, for example, to Super Mario Brothers 3, which I was using before, and you can get an idea as to what other scores have been submitted by other players here. So it looks like Mog is our uh, top player. I can click on him and see, or her, and see what other games they've played. It looks like Super Mario Brothers is their game. And I can also see what other games Mog has been playing too. So you can see the depth of data they're recording here. So uh, these are all the scores that uh, Mog has submitted on various games. And then I can go even further and see their best scores on different games that they've submitted along with a uh, 
deviation here too. So for example, some of these games, uh, Mag uh, played at least submitted 14 different scores and it gives you uh, the top score. I think it has the average score here also and it has the deviation too. And they're really doing all of these things to determine uh, just how good they really are and how consistent they are in their uh, score uploads. So really cool stuff. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this develops because the people on Nintendo Age are really, the I think, the best of the best. And we're going to see some really crazy scores out of folks. And I really like how they have a system in place to prevent cheating. So that system has got to be connected to that computer. That software has to be running the entire duration of the game. It validates to make sure you have a valid ROM that uh, Nintendo Age is uh, looking at to make sure it matches up identically. So I think they've put in a lot of controls to prevent uh, people from cheating on the high scores here. I'm sure somebody will try to come up with some way to, to circumvent that. But at the moment, it does look uh, pretty secure and uh, pretty cool. So I'm really excited about uh, what they're putting together here. And great that they involve the community in this. And this is, in many ways, a community project. So the developer of this, uh, his name is Brian, I believe. I'm going to try to get him on for an interview soon. Uh, he designed this thing and did so because he is a fan of the original Nintendo. He's also got a, a flash cartridge that I bought a couple of years ago. I, I showed this as part of the review with the uh, main console here. And uh, games off the flash uh, drive will work. Uh, provided that those images are identical to what uh, was out originally in retail. So if you have uh, ROM files, it'll obviously check them as you go and submit your score. Uh, but I did have a few ROMs on here that worked just fine because they matched up identically to the actual game. So uh, you can use your flash cartridge instead of the original cartridges with the scoring system. But as you saw in my original review, this does have Game Genie built in. If you are running cheats, it will uh, not allow you to upload the score. So it's also able to know whether or not you are uh, using the Game Genie as you're uh, playing the game. So no cheating with uh, either unplugging the system, trying to hack around it, or running a hacked ROM. None of that stuff's going to work, nor will the Game Genie stuff either. So uh, it's really, I think, a pretty well thought out thing here, a really cool way for the community to uh, continue to show their love for a uh, really legendary gaming console. Now, another thing this software does is firmware updates. And you'll remember in my original review, there was some audio dropout issues I was having with this monitor and one of my televisions. It worked with eight other uh, TVs and displays that I used here in the house, but there was two that didn't work. Uh, there was a beta firmware that I installed the other day that, or actually today, uh, that did improve the audio system. So it is getting better. And I think by the time this hits release, uh, it's going to work for everyone. So right now the audio dropouts are gone. It sounds nice and clear on this monitor. I'm hearing a little bit of noise on the Samsung television, but it's not dropping out anymore. I did talk to Brian, the developer. He is working on getting everything uh, tweaked and he's, uh, he's almost there. So I think by the time everyone gets their hands on this console, uh, everything is going to be working quite well with it. A real, this is a real accomplishment, I think, especially for those of us who are big fans of the original NES. Uh, what a great product, and I am really hoping that a lot of people find this. And uh, I've been talking to everybody I know to tell them they have to get one of these. In fact, I, my wife's friend was looking at getting the mini NES for her uh, husband, and I said, you know what? If you got 300 bucks or so, get one of these, get one of these, and uh, he will be like on, on cloud nine with uh, those two devices there. So cool stuff. I'll probably be doing another video on this once the audio issue is completely stamped out on my 4K Samsung television, because I want to show you what the images look like on a 4K set. Uh, so I'd love to get some advice from all of you as to how to best display that. I'm going to take a 4K camera and point it at the screen, but there might be some better things I can try. So let me know what you think I should do uh, to make sure that I can get you exactly what you're looking for for its 4K image quality. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.